This learning is the Ili Nishmas Broya Bas Hananya, Mesechas Demai, Parak Aleph, Mishnah Bez. Our Mishnah continues teaching leniencies that apply to Demai, and there are seven leniencies here. Hadmai, Demai, number one, Ein Lei Chaymish. It doesn't have Chaymish. So what this is referring to is if a person has produce of Maeser Sheni, which has to be eaten in Yerushalayim, and it's too much for them to bring up to Yerushalayim. So they have the option of redeeming it, meaning they transfer the holiness that's on the produce onto money, and then they bring the money to Yerushalayim, and then they transfer the holiness on, that's on the money onto other produce, and they eat that produce in Yerushalayim. Now the halacha is that if a person sells their Meiser Shani produce to someone else, they sell it for its value. However, if they want to sell it to themselves and use their own money to bring up to Yerushalayim, then they have to add a Chaymesh. By Demai, since the whole thing is based on a doubt, maybe and even likely the Meisers were already removed by the Amaretz, so therefore they don't, a person, when he redeems it for his own money, doesn't have to add a Chaymesh. Number two, Ve'en beer. it doesn't have beer. So what this is referring to is Every three years in a Shemitah, there's a set of Meiser. So the first two years, it's Meiser, Meiser Shani. And the third year is Meiser Oni. So year one and two is Meiser Shani. Year three is Meiser Oni. Year four and five is Meiser Shani. And year six is Meiser Oni. Now the Allah is that after every group of three years, meaning on the fourth year, that's after the first three years, and on the seventh year, after the second set of three years, a person has to be mevair. They have to get rid of all of their maestros that they didn't give over the last three years. Now, when it comes to maestros sheni, what they need to do is either bring it up to Yerushalayim and eat it there, or they have to actually physically destroy it. So by demai, they don't have to destroy the maestros sheni. They can just keep it until the next opportunity comes up to bring it to Yerushalayim. Number three, v'nech einen. So an einen is a person who a close family member passed away that day. And the Allah is that an Einan is not allowed to eat Maeser Sheni, but the Maeser Sheni of Dmai, an Einan is allowed to eat. Number four, V'nichnas L'Yerushalayim V'yetze. A person can bring in the produce that they have, the Dmai produce, into Yerushalayim and take it out. Usually the Allah is that if a person has produce that they didn't remove the Maesers from it and they bring it into Yerushalayim, they can no longer take it out of Yerushalayim until they first remove and separate the Maeser Sheni and eat it there. However, by Dmai, when a person brings in the produce to Yerushalayim, they can still take it out of Yerushalayim and then separate the Maeser Sheni once they're outside of Yerushalayim and then bring it back in. So the latter remove this produce when it's produce of Dmai. Number five, Uma Abdin Esmi Utoi Badrachim. The halacha usually is that a person cannot be ma'abed mi utay badrachim. A person cannot make in any way that a small amount of ma'is sheni should get lost while they're coming up to Yerushalayim. And if a small amount does get lost, they have to retrieve it. By demai, if a person is bringing up the ma'is sheni from demai to Yerushalayim and a little bit of it gets lost on the wet roads, a person doesn't have to trouble themselves to retrieve it. Number six, v'neis la amaretz. A person is allowed to give the Meiser Sheni of Dmai to an Amaretz. Usually the halacha is that if a person has Meiser Sheni, they can't give it to an Amaretz to eat in Yerushalayim because Meiser Sheni has to be eaten betaira when the person is pure. And Amaretz wasn't trusted to do this. However, over here there's a condition which is v'yeichal kenegdoi. This person has to take the amount of whatever produce they gave to the to the Amaretz to eat in Yerushalayim. They have to take an equal amount from their other produce and eat that in Yerushalayim. And number seven, which is the final one, and consists of a few cases is umechalin oise kesef al kesef. They're allowed to exchange silver coins for silver coins, nechayshes al nechayshes, copper coins for copper coins, kesef al nechayshes, silver coins for copper coins, nechayshes al aperis, and copper coins for the produce. So what this is referring to is when a person would sell their produce for money and then bring it up to Yerushalayim to then transfer the Kedusha from the money onto the produce in Yerushalayim, when they're bringing up the money, they can't exchange silver money for silver money because that's not a real exchange. It's all the same. They also can't exchange copper for copper because, again, it's not a real exchange. They're both the same. And they also couldn't exchange silver with copper because that's mistreating the Meiser Sheni by taking it from better coins of silver to not as good coins of copper. However, by Demai, by the Maestro Sheni of Demai, if a person redeems it for money, they could exchange silver coins for silver coins, copper coins for copper coins, and silver coins for copper coins. And the final one is that if a person brought coins up to Yerushalayim, they have to bring coins all the way into Yerushalayim and only over there buy produce. They can't buy produce outside of Yerushalayim. By the Maestro Sheni of Demai, a person could use the copper coins and buy with it the produce outside of Yerushalayim. And over here we have an argument about the detail. 
We're going to read this according to the Bartanura, who says, V'yachzer v'yifde es haperis divri Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir holds, after the person buys the produce outside of Yerushalayim, Rabbi Meir holds that he could still afterwards sell the produce and get different monies and then bring that money into Yerushalayim. The Chachamim Reimim and the Chachamim say they argue. They say no. Once a person buys produce with this money outside of Yerushalayim, so then Yale HaPeiris VeYachlu Yerushalayim, the person has to bring up that produce and eat it in Yerushalayim.